Let's read uh, Romans 1 and 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? And worshiping the servant and the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto veil afflictions, and even their women did change their natural use into which that is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving their natural use of the woman, burning in their lust one toward another, man with man, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobated mind. The book of Enoch, uh, chapter 8, we're going to kind of get into that a little bit. Uh, verse 1 said, Moreover, Azalea taught men to make sword, knives, shields, breastplate, and fabrications of mirror. We know that breastplate, swords, all that stuff has to do with war. And then he said, And the workmanship of bracelets and ornaments, the use of paint, the beautifying of the eyebrows. So we see the use of stones of every valuable and selected kind and all sorts of dyes so that the world became altered. So these fallen angels, they knew if they make these bracelets and all of these jewels and things and put them on their wives, that their wives would become altered. And you find out that their wives became witches. And you see also that these things, they alter you. They make you feel like you're above or you're better than somebody else. It's pride. Pride to come in through these things because this thing is you, you're using this stuff to try to help beautify yourself. We're going to talk a little bit about the woman's rights uh, movement because uh, we know that this was uh, fairly, uh, according to most people in the world, this was a good movement. But we find out that these women, they, they protested because they wanted to work jobs. And they wanted to do things like uh, men. And uh, we find out that the divorce rate went up higher according to this movement. Uh, women was allowed to wear pants through this movement. And uh, Hollywood began to use actors like Catherine Hepburn to desensitize women in America by, by wearing pants on TV. So this was a, a wicked movement if you begin to look at all of the bad stuff that came out of it. And uh, not only that, but this movement also brought about the first woman preacher. This movement also brought about the uh, first, the first uh, 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 homosexuals that came uh, in America. So the spirit of Incubus and Succubus worked through this movement. The spirit of uh, Asmodeus worked through this movement. You have so many false gods that's, that work through this movement. So Catherine... Uh, Heartburn, she was used as a puppet uh, by these people. She played in the movie in the 1930s in the John Wayne uh, movie, uh, depicted her wearing pants. And the more she wore pants in this movie, movie it uh, caused the world to be desensitized. The women in America to become desensitized because they wasn't allowed to wear pants back then. Uh, she was famous for wearing pants, uh, which were trousers. And uh, she wore these pants and it contributed, you know, to making it very acceptable for women in America, like I said, to cause them to become desensitized. But we have to understand uh, Satan has a device that he has to work through because he controls the airways. So when women, excuse me, when women don't wear or they try to take a stand for God and not uh, to wear these things of the world, they find a way to implement these things, whether it's through a movement, and you find out that this movement was a demonic movement because the divorce rate after this movement, it, it skyrocketed. And it went up, the divorce rate went way up high, it went up uh, about 50% higher than what it was originally. But uh, it was a door opening for women to wear pants. It was a door opening for the divorce rate to go up uh, women preachers to come into play. Uh, it was also a door opening for the spirit of homosexuality because if you begin to look like that thing, then you'll begin to be that thing. So they began to dress and wear pants and smoke cigarettes. They began to work a job, and they didn't need the support of their husbands anymore. So 
they a lot of them got divorced and wind up not only uh, marrying other women, but being with other women, uh, becoming homosexual. So this was a perverted movement when you look at the tail end of this movement. Satan really took a good thing and he uh, corrupted it. And it, it is the result of what we have today. And if we don't put a stop to this thing today, you're going to find out that it's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. And, and, and this wickedness will overthrow uh, righteousness. But we find out that righteousness will win. In the end, but the man's way of right is not the real true righteous. But it, the wickedness are gonna gonna overthrow that simple man's righteousness. And when we cannot no longer stand on the word of God, that's what I mean by the simple man's righteous. So therefore, we need to stand on the word of God, knowing that wearing pants, makeup, jewelry, all of these things are wrong, according to the word of God. And with the real true kings and queens of God, please stand up. All right, here's another precept that may help you, uh, Daniel 3 and 21. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosings, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. So uh, we know that uh, the word, we know what the uh, coats are, but what about the hosings? Uh, you find out that this, uh, when you look the word hosings up, there were um, women hoses and men hoses, but you find uh, that there was a great difference from the men hoses and the women hoses. Here's a picture of the uh, men hoses, and you can see how they was even assembled to where the pants looked just like the hoses of the men back then. Uh, here's a picture from the front to the back, and you'll find that it, it changed slightly from the 14th century to the 15th century to what we have now as pants or pantalones or uh, trousers. And the reason the men wore these the way they did was because it enabled them to work. It allowed them to work and to use it for their hands. And even when they was had the uh, sport, even if they had a robe over their, uh, their hoses and their uh, pantalones, they were able to, they were able to still gear up their lungs and sport. And you see the difference from the women hosings. Uh, the women hosings was very thin and difficult to make because uh, they would tear so easy, easily. And uh, that was a big difference from, and normally uh, from the 14th century, the women hose, uh, hoses only came up to the knees. So there's the difference. Uh, and a lot of people are going to still try to argue the word instead of just uh, lining up with Scripture. And uh, coming to the conclusion that the trousers, the hosings of men were not meant for women to wear. So y'all pray my strength in the Lord because this was a very uh, good lesson. And I'm sure I hope a lot of people uh, got this understanding and would apply this understanding to their lives.